Hello and welcome back to the Rattle Mine Podcast. I'm Rai, and uh, sadly I'm on my own today because v- Panchi is on vacation. Yes, in fact, I'm on my own all week, but... Um, so, what should I talk about this week? I gotta fill up like 15 to 20 minutes of this rambling podcast that usually comes when I'm all by myself. So, actually, what I want to talk about is the uh, new Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie thing that Netflix released to commemorate 30 years of Power Rangers. Um, what was it called? I completely forgot. Now and Always? Something like that. Well, it hit me in the nostalgia kick. I mean, you know, I, I was doing the Morphin Time thing, you know, hand-holding the Morpher. I don't actually own a morpher, so I couldn't actually do that. So, you know, it was just the hand gesture. It's morphin' time! And of course, you know, I'm left-handed, so, you know, I do it backwards. That, uh, it was pretty good. Um, yes, Robo Rita was kind of weird looking. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, about that. Uh... So, basically what happened is that in one of the series that I didn't actually follow through and watch, uh, Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed, that's one thing I think was forgotten, is that Zed was also affected by it. Um, uh, Zordon released his capsule and his energy pulse to disperse the evil from Lord Zed and uh, Rita among others, because uh, I'm pretty sure it was a lot more than that, just them. And, but, in an experiment that Billy was doing, Rita was brought back, and Rita's evil essence inhabited Alpha 8 or 7. I don't know. There's like 10 different Alphas, because it was a, the one on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was Alpha 5. Alpha 5 left, sort of, and then we had a new Alpha, all voiced by the same person, though, so nothing to deal, deal with that. Um, at least I'm pretty sure they were all voiced by the same person. Um, so we ended, so in this version, I, we're all the way up to Alpha 8 or 9, something like that, and uh, yeah. Now, the dialogue is what you expect from a Power Rangers movie or whatever it is, or actually TV show. You know, the language is kind of jarring and cut, and it, it doesn't flow like a normal person talking. So it, it sounds like, I read line. Oh, there's a pause because the, the other person didn't pick up their line right away, uh, or didn't flow directly into the next part of the script. So things were kind of like, We should really tell them about what happened. No, we shouldn't. It doesn't feel right. Oh, okay. Well, you you know, that that little pause between character lines is something that they should have worked on. But, honestly, that's basically how the 90s, you know, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers dialogue went. Um, Now, if I remember right, when this was being made, It was basically the exact same issue that caused uh, the whole part of the group leaving uh, the Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, and Black Ranger uh, leaving. The actual actors thought they would get should be paid more and have better safety because honestly they didn't have a lot of safety back then, Um, and they really weren't paid all that well. And the conditions for record for doing the actual TV show was kind of terrible. Uh, from what I've heard, watching various YouTube stuff. Uh, but it was nice that it, during throughout the series, many of them did come back to reply reprise their their roles, except for of course Trini, who uh, the actress passed away in, I don't remember what year, but she passed away, and that was why the Yellow Rangers was always kind of in flux, and why this 
Timeline. Honestly, I'm not sure if you could count this as canon canon. I mean, I understand why they would want it to be canon. Because it would be helpful. But there are issues with it when you actually watch the show. Um, because, uh... Rocky and the second Red Ranger and Pink Ranger didn't actually have the Mighty Morphin powers. So they had to finagle duplicating the power coins. And then there's also the issue with the fact that they never actually explained how they got the power coins back to working order or why they weren't in didn't have access to the ninjago or the ninja ninjago that's lego uh the ninja power coins or whatever they were so it's just like hmm so it's all like it's doctor whoish wibbly wobbly timey wimey type of thing going on uh but it was nice to see uh billy and zach back in their roles uh I know that Billy had been on many of the other series. Series? Series? What is the plural of series? Is it just a series of series? Hmm. Never really thought about that until I tried to say series. Um, but it was nice to find see him back. Um... He was my favorite character growing up. I always liked the Blue Ranger. Uh, I just like the color blue for one. And for two, it's a Triceratops. Come on. The Triceratops was pretty cool. I mean, growing up, Triceratops was pretty cool. At least for me. Uh, though it was an herbivore, so a lot of people would prefer the Tyrannosaurus or Pterodactyl. But uh, yeah, I liked the Triceratops. Mastodon was pretty cool, too, so, yeah, give Zach his credit. Uh, of course, you know, there was the whole stereotyping, the black guy as the black ranger and the Asian girl as the yellow ranger. So that was kind of, um, you know, I did, and honestly, they just didn't think about it when they did it. Um, but, of course, this is the 90s, so innate picking of cast in a specific way just it, it happens. That's what you did. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know too much about Pilot Rangers lore. Um, sadly, Jason's Fr David Frank passed away due to uh, issues. Uh, because this is going on YouTube, I'm not going to specifically say because that's how you get demonetized. Well, I'm not even monetized. He committed suicide, so, and as bad as it is, it's, as a person who's stable, you're always going to be wondering why, 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 and, I mean, he was integral to most of Power Rangers. I mean, he was, his, I mean, he, he appeared in tons of series, I think you're just going to have to say series when you mean series. -es -es -es. Um, so him passing was very jarring. And I'm glad they had the tribute to him and... Uh, gosh, I got to look it up. I can't remember her name. Okay, yeah, the show was Once and Always... Uh, no, I want Mighty Morphin. I don't want to g bring up a YouTube video. Sorry, I know it's gotten quiet, but that's because... Yeah, I don't know how to spell her, spell, say her name, but uh, she was Vietnamese. Oh, okay. 
I kind of knew that. I just, you know. But uh, the actress who played Trini, she was in the tribute as well. Um, now, uh, she was the original Yellow Ranger, and she just died at the age of 27. Man, that is just... Yeah, it was a car accident. From what I can tell, it was basically literally an accident. Accident, accident. Um, Uh, yeah. Power Rangers was had a lot of issues with uh, things. Um. But yeah, it was nice to see Tribute. Um, her character isn't exactly the main focus of the movie, but is an integral, integral? Is that how you say that? Integral? Part of the plot of the movie. And it was actually nice to see. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. I liked it. I mean, like I said, I got the nostalgia feels. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was great to see David Yost back and, you know, playing Billy again, because that was kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to call this an episode. Sorry, I didn't have a lot to say. My solo episodes are never very long, mostly because I can't. You know, I'm not good at just rambling and being coherent. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and, um, you know what? Leave a comment about uh, who your favorite Power Ranger was from any of the seasons. Uh, color, character name, actor name. That's cool. Um, uh, and, yeah, I'd, I'd love to know what your experiences with Power Rangers would be. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and bye.